This is Tommy Robinson being arrested on the 26th of November 2023 for the uh, crime of doing journalism. Now the police gave the excuse that he was going to cause alarm and distress to the people attending this protest. It was the um, it was a protest by the Jewish people um, to raise awareness of growing anti-Semitism in society. And all Tommy Robinson was here to do was to report on the event and interview people, which he was doing in the coffee shop. He wasn't causing any alarm or distress to anyone or anything like that. This was they were this was the police using the law as an excuse to remove Tommy Robinson from an from an event for absolutely no reason whatsoever. And the reason I'm bringing this up is is because GB News are um, have highlighted a similar incident um, regarding a Telegraph, new, uh, the Telegraph newspaper journalist who has now is now being investigated by the police for a tweet. I think it's one of those non-hate crime things. But the police haven't told her who the victim is. They haven't told her why she's being investigated or what she's supposed to have done. Now the news media could have nipped this in the bud. They could have held the police to account and stopped them from doing stop them from doing this in the future. Stop them from becoming emboldened in doing this by highlighting Tommy Robinson's situation. They don't have to like Tommy Robinson. They don't have to agree with his politics. All they have to do is to stand up for the right for journalists to go to events and report on events the way they see fit. It's called free speech. But unfortunately, the mainstream media, including GB News, either stayed quiet or demonised him for doing what he was doing, playing the game of we hope the, the crocodile eats his last. And of course, when you play that game, eventually you are going to get eaten by the crocodile. Uh, and this it just highlights why you need to start speaking out against this sort of thing. Regardless of what you think about Tommy Robinson or what, or what you think he is, this is, this is about free speech. This is about protecting the right to hold authority to account, isn't it? And the tide is turning. People are starting to come round to his cause. Uh, yesterday on Dan Wooten's show, there was um, another journalist who was in the mainstream media, Alex Phillips. She sat down and actually had a chat with Tommy Robinson and um, discussed him, watched his video, his early videos. And she, like many others, when they actually get to know him, realise that they've been misled about Tommy Robinson. Now, I've had a few run-ins. Well, I haven't had run-ins. He's not actually replied to any of my videos, and I don't expect him to. But I've had to um, call out Politico for doing exactly the same thing to Tommy Robinson, accusing him of things, basically lying in some circumstances as well, for calling him, you know, a grifter, a fraudster, He's none of those things whatsoever. These are common slurs along with race. He's a racist, he's, he's an Islamophobe, and all those kind of things. These are all common things that are thrown against Tom Robinson that don't carry any weight. Now, I challenged Politico, and I said this to him in a tweet. It's on the screen now. I said, you know what? Instead of coming out of the woodwork and attacking Tommy Robinson while he's got no right to reply and while he's in prison, why don't you wait nine months and debate him face to face. And I think everybody from all sides would appreciate that sort of interaction to debate this out in the public square where it should be. Instead of making these disingenuous attacks against Tommy Robinson when he's got absolutely no right to reply. And Politico says that people are hypnotized by Tommy Robinson. They're not hypnotized by him. Tommy Robinson is them. He is us. He's exactly like us. All he does is just give the people who hold the same opinions as Tommy Robinson a voice to air those concerns. That's all he's doing. He's just saying what everybody else who supports Tommy Robinson is thinking. And he's got the platform to do that. He's got the profile to do that. At great personal risk to himself. And you don't have to like that. You don't have to like that at all. But that is the truth of the situation anyway i'm going to cut this here and uh, thank you for watching thank you for everybody subscribing don't forget to like share and subscribe my videos and i shall see you in the next video this is vindicator signing off